What's up y'all? Today we are making turkey legs and after you see this, you'll never leave another one in the field again. All right, you guys, so check out what we got right here. We've got some beautiful wild turkey legs. I got to clean up this silver skin a little bit and we're going to throw them into a slow cooker. But guys, I got to tell you a little bit about this. After this recipe, you're never going to want to throw turkey legs away again. This is a rich succulent meat that you can use in a plethora of different recipes from quesadillas, enchiladas, which we will be doing, uh, nachos, anything you want to use shredded meat for, this is the, the recipe you're going to want to use. All right, so check this out. Let's pull all this silver skin off and get them in a slow cooker. So one thing I want to show you guys is this is not a butterball turkey. It has these hard tendons in there. Now when you're cooking this, this could all break down, but it makes it a little bit harder to shred the meat. So I like to come down here to the leg and pinch it right there, get right underneath that tendon. Well, if I can get in there, get right underneath that tendon and work up there to get underneath it, to peel it out. So that when I go to peel the turkey meat, I'm not dealing with a bunch of this. Okay, so we have all of the silver skin peeled. You can look right here and see and, and tell what is this? You might think, oh, we gotta get that off. That's Sanu. Uh, the silver skin is gonna be that heavy, white, dense, you know, stuff like this right here that you wanna get off. And you don't have to get every bit of it. You can get just, you know, as much as you can so you're not butchering the, the legs because um, they will cook down. It will break down in the slow cooker over time. And we're gonna season these up with our Reload Rub High Caliber Blend. It is a Chipotle garlic. It is really good. Do not uh, be chintzy with this. We're really gonna put it on here. And when you put it in the slow cooker, some of it, it, it'll all be coming off, but look at that smokiness. Some of it might come off, but it's gonna be cooking in all of those Chipotle garlic juices. Really get it on it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Once you got everything seasoned, we're just gonna lay these in the slow cooker. We're going to take chicken broth, and the goal here is to just cover the top of the bird. You can also use water if you want to, or you can do a 50-50 mix. But the whole goal is to get all this liquid over the top of all the meat. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna plug it up, cap it, we're gonna put it on high for about eight hours. All right, y'all, so everything is ready to rock and roll. The turkey legs are done. We're gonna pull them out of the crock pot. Check this out, watch the steam. Woo! Look at that, baby. So we're gonna pull these out and shred them. And then we're gonna begin to make, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Ah! <laughs> it's falling apart. Let's get our tongs out here. So this is eight hours on high, in case you missed it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shred all of this and separate these little tendons, pieces of the cartilage and all that. Look at that, man. Just look how that falls apart. Everyone you talk to, these OG turkey hunters, they talk about how the legs are garbage and that they're tough. Nah, look at this. Look at this meat. I gotta try me a little bite right here. Mmm. Mmm, tender, rich, delicious. Let's get this party started. So, in closing guys, look at all this. Look at all this meat. All of this meat right here that gets left in the woods that can be going in your freezer. You can do anything you want with this. It is a nice, rich, dark meat. Tacos, you can make casseroles, put it in quesadillas. You can make soup out of this. All kinds of great applications for this beautiful succulent meat that hunters are leaving in the daggum woods. So next time you shoot a big old Tom or even that little juicy Jake, you wanna keep the legs, guys. Don't leave them in the field. Mm, that's so good. Mm.